Today I want to continue to talk about musicals. We've been talking about book musicals and we saw how musical theater uh, really saved Broadway. It really started to bring audiences back to Broadway and this trend would continue. And there are several types of musicals that are with us today and that's what I want to talk about. The first of these is the concept musical. Concept. A concept musical is a musical where the story is based around a, a concept or an event. And there might be multiple characters. We get to hear all their stories. Uh, the most famous of these concept mu musicals was created by Michael Bennett. And Michael Bennett created the musical A Chorus Line. And for many years, A Chorus Line uh, was the longest running show on Broadway. Um, A Chorus Line was extremely popular and it is based on an event. That event being actors coming to an audition to be in the chorus of a musical. We hear the voice of the director, and each of these characters tells their story. What theater means to them, what getting a role means to them, what life is to them. Um, it, it, for somebody in theater, it's a really, really special uh, musical. Um, Bob Fosse also created these. Uh, in, in fact, you know, he and Michael Bennett created a lot of these concept type musicals. Now, from that developed the mega musical, the mega musical. The mega musical is performed through song and there is dance, very little dialogue. It is the song, the song is important. These plays are spectacle. They're big, they're huge. The songs are big, the sets are big, the costumes are big, and the songs are catchy. When we hear the songs from these shows, we remember them. Uh, and that's why they are so popular and they have long runs. The production is the star. It's not some actor, it's the production. Now, the first of these, and the one you should probably remember, is Evita, E-V-I-T-A, Evita. Evita was written by Weber and Rice, and it is the story of Eva Perone, P-E-R-O-N-E, -E, Eva Perone. It tells the story of her and her husband and the conflict that they have uh, as a dictator uh, against the rebel forces um, and it's huge, it's big, it's great storytelling. Um, some other ones uh, that you should probably know or have heard of, Phantom of the Opera is a mega musical. Uh, Cats is a mega musical and there was just a, a recent production of Cats not too long ago. Uh, Starlight Express uh, was a mega musical. And if you've never seen that, uh, it, it doesn't get done a lot because it requires a roller rink. And it's people roller skating very fast and while they sing and while there's choreography. Uh, it is huge. Uh, so, spectacle, catchy songs, the production is the star. Now, one of the things that's very, very popular today is the corporate musical, the corporate musical. And the main corporation that's producing these is Disney. Disney has produced a number of shows that have been on Broadway. All these shows have come from films. They did the films first, then they created these Broadway shows. Uh, from the films. So when you go see one of these corporate Disney movies or plays, 
most of the people are already familiar with a lot of the music and they're very familiar with the story and the character. Um, they're fun. Uh, they're for families and that's the idea. And when they write these musicals, when they create them, they're also creating minor, um, shorter versions that can be done at schools, that can be done by children. So they're very family friendly. Um, the first of these that was a big, big, big hit was, um, was Beauty and the Beast. Uh, Beauty and the Beast came out in 1994 and then it was followed by a string of other hits. Uh, Lion King, um, you know, uh, The Little Mermaid. I mean, just one after another, after another, after another. And at times, Disney's had several shows on Broadway at the same time, uh, the corporate musicals. The last type of musical that I wanna to talk to you about, and we will refer to this as making it happen, making it happen. In this, with these musicals, you have an individual who has a dream, who has an idea, and they really have to push that dream, their idea to others, and get them to accept that this is something they want to invest in. And then the musical is created, uh, the producers then you know find the money to do it, and the person's dream happens, making it happen. There are two people that I want to talk about that have done this with great success. The first is Mel Brooks. Mel Brooks, comedian, uh, filmmaker, uh, just an amazing man in the entertainment business. Brooks created a, a film called The Producers. Um, it was not a huge hit. It did well. Uh, it's very funny. It wasn't a musical, uh, but it had music in it because what the producers is, it's a story about an accountant who meets a producer. They get an idea that if they produce a musical that is bad enough, that they can make money off of it. In other words, they're going to raise more money than they need. And if it flops, they get to keep that money that they, that they raised uh, to do the musical, and they'll both can be millionaires. That's their, that's their plot. The only thing they worry about in this is if the musical in any way gets good reviews and lasts for more than one night, their books will be checked and they will go to jail for fraud. They create a musical and the musical they create is called Springtime for Hitler. They find an old German soldier who has written a love story about Adolf Hitler. And they take his story, create this musical, knowing it's going to offend everybody. And on opening night, the audience loves it. It's a hit. And at the end, the two of these guys finally end up going to jail. Um, it's funny, it's a satire, it's hilarious, but it was Mel Brooks' dream when he created the film that was not a musical to turn it into a musical. He did that, and of all the musicals that have ever been on Broadway, that musical, The Producers, has won more Tony Awards than any other. Uh, it, it holds the record for winning the most Tony Awards of any musical. He also continued that idea. He had another film that he did called Young Frankenstein. And he took that, uh, that film, changed it into a musical, and that was done on Broadway. And in fact, uh, a dear friend of mine, Beth Level, uh, was in uh, that musical Young Frankenstein when it was on Broadway. Uh, very, very funny. It, it tells the, st it's basically the Frankenstein story. Uh, and of course they set it to music uh, and it's a, it's a musical. Um, 
The other person that I want to talk about uh, is Lynn Manuel Miranda. Um, if you don't know him, Google him, look him up. He is a powerhouse on Broadway, also in film. Um, he cr had an idea. Uh, he wanted to do a musical. This was in 2008 about his neighborhood, about where he grew up. And he did. He created it. He went out and found the people to produce it. And it ended up on Broadway and it, it won some Tonys and it's called In the Heights. And just recently, uh, they did a film of In the Heights that was presented on television. Um, and you can still see it, it's, it's still out there. In the Heights, uh, again, he got the idea and he made it happen. Uh, but his big success, his huge success, and you have to remember him for this, is Hamilton the Musical. Uh, Hamilton the Musical uh, was his idea. He took many years putting this together. It's the story of Alexander Hamilton, and he put it to uh, rock uh, and uh, um, hip-hop music, uh, and it's played by many minority actors, and it is spectacular. Um, it has been sold out since it opened. The only thing that closed it was COVID. And now that COVID's ending and they're reopening Broadway, it's coming back and it's going to run for years and years and years. Uh, in 2015, it was awarded the Pulitzer Prize for Drama. Um, wonderful story, wonderful musical. I have clips of these musicals, some of these musicals on D2L, listen to them. Um, I think you're going to like it. Um, I think you'll, you, you know, a lot of you probably know the Disney musicals. You know those stories. Uh, these other things you may not know, and they're all brilliant. Uh, but it's what's happening now. They're very, very popular on Broadway. Um, you still, from time to time, they'll have, uh, they'll remake or come out with new book musicals. Uh, there was just, a, a, a Oklahoma was done uh, recently, and it was brilliant um, with a whole new concept. It was sort of this, um, uh, the actors actually had, mu uh, you know, uh, guitars and stuff as they were playing it. Um, and it looked more like a concert than a, than a play, though it was the play Oklahoma. Uh, but uh, the concept musicals, the mega musicals, corporate musicals, and of course, these musicals where people have made it happen. That's what's happening on Broadway now. Um, please, look at the stuff on D2L, and I hope you enjoy it. I'll talk to you again next time.